Good. Here we are for take two of uh, Velocity for Friday evening, uh, our Minimax episode. Um, and welcome to uh, Maximilian Werner. Hi, Max. Hi, how are you? I'm great, thanks. And you? Yeah. That's good. Uh, you've just come back from Lommel for, from some training. How did it go? Yeah, the training was, I, I work hard, so to get to my aim, yeah. All right. And did you train on the 1 to 5 CC today? I do every four. Hmm? Uh, did you train you on the say? 1 to 5 CC? I said, did you train on the 1 to 5 yeah, CC machine I today? Yeah, I train on the 125. All right. Now, um, we saw some video of you at the early season event, the race day simulation training. Um, how You've had very few races this year. How, how did those races go for you? I mean, that was basically your first races. Yeah, the races went pretty well. I always win just one event. There was one uh, guy with me, Nikolai Skjorberg. I battled with him. That was a nice event. It was so fun. And yeah, he won yeah. the first moto. I won the second and yeah. I was loving it. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, he's one of the many, many Danes, Danish riders that's uh, that's coming through now. Uh, now you are in the in the Cossack team now. It's actually the legendary team of Herbert Cossack. Um, how did this happen? How did you get to be in in this team? Yeah, Suzuki. I was riding before Suzuki. So, but uh, last year Suzuki said we don't do anything for this year just the small teams and i say yeah okay i have to do a new thing so we got some uh some sponsors who said yeah herbert is good and then also yamaha but we choose the kdm and right yeah all right now you speak about suzuki um, I'm going to show you a picture and then uh, you tell me uh, about uh, this day, um, what happened here. Uh, just one second. Oh, yeah. You see that picture. So yeah. how, wh how, what do you remember about that day? Uh, it, was a, it was a perfect day. I don't was thinking that I won, but yeah. I stand on the start, then Edward Bitsans don't uh, went to the start to, uh, early. He was too late, so the start closed. So I was first on the start, so I don't have a pretty good start, but it was okay. I was riding on the third position the whole race. In the last few minutes, um, I go for second. And in the last lap, uh, the first rider makes a mistake. And yeah, I was able to go in the first and then I won. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that was, uh, uh, that was in fact, in Bielstein, uh, you won uh, Adak uh, Union Cup, which is a big, big, big event. But now something special about that day is something that one doesn't see very, very much at top level on a podium, and that was the bike you rode. Uh, it's not often that one sees a Suzuki 85 anymore in top level racing. So, so how was the year for you on the Suzuki? Yeah, the year was perfect. I got perfect support from Suzuki. Um, yeah, the bike was also perfect. Yeah, it was a good year for me. All right. Um, now you have uh, um, uh, you've switched now to KTM, and this is one of the acknowledged top bikes in the eighty five CC class. But now uh, your season is almost over before it started with uh, with the 
uh, virus pandemic, uh, I mean, there's been no races. Um, and I hear, well, we've just read that the ADAC series is going to be only two events at the end of the year. And each of those events will, instead of two heats, have three heats. Uh, so how do you look forward to the ADAC races? Yeah, I train a lot of sand before the races and I'm happy to can uh, do some races before next year and yeah. Um, all right, now for next year, uh, are you going to, are you going to uh, ride one to five or are you gonna remain on the 85 CC class? Yeah, next year I go uh, for the 125 because I'm still big and I have to go to a bigger bike. From the age I can ride till six, it's that would go, that would be a step back now in front. Right, right. Um, and uh, um, uh, what are the plans? Which which races would you do? Obviously, ADAC, and, and then I would assume European Championships and the Junior World Championships as well, correct? Yeah, uh, for the 125, my plans are to ride all races, like the 125 um, ADAC and the European Championships, and maybe the World Championship, and yeah. All right. Now, um, it's not just outdoor that you're good. Uh, I'll show you a picture. Uh, what are your memories of what you see here on the screen? Yeah, this was super cross. I like the super cross events. It was always nice riding in a on a small track with a lot of jumps and a lot of rhythm and very much fans. It was a very nice feeling. Right. And and of course, you know, you go to an event like Dortmund uh, in Westland Halle and, and it's sold out. So it's it's a it must be a huge kick to be riding in front of so many people. Yeah, it's always fun to ride uh, with so much fans, but I still do it for me. And yeah. Um, All right. And now. Um, uh, you will you continue with your uh, with your program with uh, with Cossack next year? Is is the plan that you continue with them? Yeah, I will write uh, next year also to for Cossack, but I don't know. I can't say too much, so we will see. But I think so. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. Now, let's just go back a little bit to your history. How is it? I know that your father raced. Uh, uh, is that how you started with motocross? Um, I started in the age where I was three years old, just riding the little PV50. And yeah, my dad was racing. So I always was with to the races and loved the sport. From the first day I was looking. All right. Now your your hometown is Jena, right? <laughs> oh, you have a, some people yeah, that see the broadcasts, maybe. Your town is Jena. Okay. Now uh, Jena is you not the first fast rider to come from that area. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah. There comes so much uh, fast riders from my from my yeah city and from the next cities and yeah Ken Roxon is one of them right. then Henry Jacoby yes. then Tom Cox right. and yeah so much fast riders yeah we just have fifteen so kilometers to all of them yeah this is this is almost like like in Lommel at the moment, okay, this this is not riders that come from there, but riders that move there. But I mean, if you just drive up and down the street in Lommel, you can almost have a Grand Prix with the riders that you can find in the yards. So um, yeah. tell me, uh, and um, also uh, uh, what struck me is 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 how pro, uh, prevalent the name Max is in in German racing because you have yourself. You have Max Million Spies now, who's doing quite well in the MX250. And then, of course, you have Max Rabel, correct? 
Yeah. All right. Now, speaking of Max Nagel, if, if we go back in the calendar a few years, of course, there was this huge, huge moment in German super uh, in German motocross, excuse me, uh, where the German team um, with uh, uh, Max uh, Ken Roxen and, and um, Marcus Schiffer won the Motocross of Nations. Uh, um, do you remember anything of, of that event? Uh, yeah, the MX where they won, that was, I was there, it was so huge. It, it was a pretty nice feeling to know our country was winning. Yeah, and and uh, would you see yourself uh, representing Germany at some stage uh, in the Motocross of Nations? Yeah, I hope so. I can race there in a few years and yeah. All right. Now, uh, um, yeah, I know you've got some preparation to do for, for some event on the weekend. What have you got coming up for the weekend? Sorry, can you... Uh, th can this On this again? weekend, have, have you got an event coming up for Sunday or are you just going training? I just go to training. All right. What is your next race that, that you have on your calendar? I... I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I I will write the 125 with the 125. Maybe some um, Dutch masters, right? That are coming Which, up. But um, yeah. then just with the 85, the other races. All right. Yeah, with the Dutch masters, that's of course a very very competitive championships as well. In in the sands of Holland, you know, that's a very specialist kind of terrain. How are you in sand? Obviously, from where you come from in East Germany, it's it's not too much of a problem. Uh, how, how comfortable are you in, in the sand? Yeah, the sand is one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite tracks when they're sandy. I like hard pack tracks, but then they must be grippy. And when they're yeah. like just dusty, then I like I prefer uh, Centrix. All right. Well, uh, thank you. Um, I will will let you. I know you've had a, a hard day and, and you need to, to rest up. And so uh, just a few more things um, uh, at home. Are you an only child? Do you have brothers or sisters? No, I'm alone. <laughs> You're alone. And uh, uh, do you have a dog or a goldfish or something like that? Yeah, we have a dog. Uh, girl it's yeah. she's 15 or 16 years old uh, oh, really? old dog yeah 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 okay and uh, i saw that you wrote down one of your hobbies while well, you wrote down your hobbies is swimming and golf how, how good is your golf game golf is like i just don't play it on the field i just go to a ranch where i just shooting balls on the on the grass but when yeah. I'm with friends, I go also on the field and play with them, yeah. All right. Well, thank you so, so very much. I'm sorry we had some sound problems to start off with. Uh, we'll definitely watch your, your progress and, uh, yeah, I wish you every success. Thank you. And uh, willst du am Schluss uh, für deine deutsche Fans was sagen? <laughs> Auf Deutsch? Grüß. Grüße gehen raus an alle deutsche Fans. Okay, uh, vielen Dank, Max, and uh, we speak later. Thanks, my buddy. Yeah, see ya. Bye-bye.